Today on BC POV, we ride some fantastic flow and jump trails in Kimberley, BC. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> okay, now. In the last episode we rode a trail called Snow Mexican, but I cut that video off a little early because we're about to ride the same trails I'm about to show you in this video. So for this video we had everybody who was in the last video except for Laura who had to head home. But here we are, we're about to drop into a trail called Snow White and the Seven Wasps. The trail was named after some unfortunate encounters with insects during the build. Alright, Snow White and the Seven Wasps. Sweet! Ooh. Oh, this is cool. A little jump. Nice. Woo. Oh, I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, I should have hit it. I should have hit it. <laughs> Sick. I love that all these they build all these little jumps everywhere. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I had a flat that whole time. <laughs> I hit that one rock at the beginning and went oh. and then it was making like this <laughs> the whole way down. Oh you do have a kind of a wet spot there. Crazy. Okay. So dusty. Oh, what was that? Oh. oh, okay. I just want the gnarliest stuff. <laughs> Man, the trails are so good here. What the hell? <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, these guys are looking at this 
basically pump and double over onto that rock. Looks pretty doable. Oh yeah, there you go. So dusty again. Sick. Oh yeah, I'm going to run that. This is gnar down here. Oh, and now we get jumps. Okay. Bit of a case. Sick. <laughs> so fun. Just gets better every lap. There's <sighs> Roost City on that last turn. <laughs> oh man. The next trail on this lap was called Nimby, but we also ride that the next lap, so no need to show it twice. Let's head up to the next trail, Purple People Pleaser, yeah. and then we'll get to Nibby.
Purple People Pleasers kind of like Crank It Up and Whistler. Lots of medium sized tabletop jumps. And they called it this because they needed a trail that was between black and blue. And I guess it's this middle ground that pleases the people the most. You too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See ya, thanks for the shuttle. Ooh, it's dusty. Oh, that's the secret line. <laughs> this is kind of like a if you've been to Whistler like a crank it up kind of jumpy trail about the same size jumps it's called purple people eater no purple people pleaser <laughs> Woo. oh yeah the wall ride wall ride Woo. <laughs> that was close. That was weird. Single track. <sighs> we had NIMBY already? <laughs> yeah. That was pretty fast girl. <laughs> it was fast. That was good. Sweet. Whew. Couple moments. Yeah, I had uh, I was on the, on the wrong side of some camber somewhere, and I was like, Shh. <laughs> yeah, I found myself on the inside of a couple of things with some large rocks sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> gravel just falls to the inside. Yeah, cool. Like I'll follow you again if you want. Yeah. And now we're about to drop into NIMBY.
Finally! No good, dude. <laughs> So sick. Nice ride, right, guys. How's oh, so your head? <laughs> Sweet, Ooh. dude. Right. Right. <laughs> Five stars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. 10 out of 10, we'll try again. <laughs> I just want to thank Ryan and Laura for being our guides for the day, and Ryan's dad, John, for driving all evening. Ryan and Laura are doing a ton of work on the trails in Kimberley, and the work is clearly paying off. I really enjoyed these trails actually, it was a, definitely a pleasant surprise, I was not expecting the trails to be this good. And I would just recommend, go ride these trails in Kimberley because they're really really fun. As always, thanks for watching.